The case system. Introduction. Why is it called the case system? No idea. Let's think about it as the suitcase system, shall we? Because then we can put things in it. What do we want to put in it? Some ideas. What are the ideas? Ideas of nominative, accusative, and dative. Now, often sentences have an object or two, and an object can be direct or indirect. A direct object answers the question, what, when asked of the verb, I give, I give what, I give the ball. An indirect object answers the question, to, or for whom, of the verb, I give to whom the ball, I give you the ball, you are the indirect object of the sentence. So the sentence, I give you the ball, has the subject I, the direct object, the ball, and the indirect object, you. German has four cases, and we're looking here at three of them. And what difference is all this going to make to your German? A lot. First of all, it allows you to get all this der, das, die, den, dem, der stuff right. So we need our article grid for the, so let's have another look at it. To make our sentence, we're going to use the man, the ball, and the boy. All these words are masculine. Der Mann, der Ball, and der Junge. And we're going to need a verb. Let's continue to use give. That's geben. Here's the sentence. The man gives the ball to the boy. The man is the subject of the sentence, so he needs a nominative article. Man is masculine, obviously, so it's der Mann. The man gives what? The ball. The ball is an object, and it's accusative. It will need den. Okay, yeah, you can see that, right? Now, what about the rest of it? The man gives the ball. Yes, to whom does the man give the ball? To the boy. The boy is an object that answers the to whom question. So, it's dative. It will need dem. You might think, then, that the sentence, the man gives the ball to the boy, would be Der Mann gibt den Ball zu dem Jungen. And you'd be close. We just need to put the objects in the reverse order. So it's Der Mann gibt dem Jungen den Ball. Why? Because German in this situation, using this verb, wants the dative object, the to whom, for whom object, before the accusative object. And it works in English too. The man gives the boy the ball. No problem. Because we've reversed the objects, there's no need for the idea of two. One more example. I send a friend a letter. Again, all masculine words. So, following the same logic, using the A grid, let's have a look at that again. Ich schicke einem Freund einen Brief. So, let me tell you here that these examples work with verbs like geben and schicken. There's no need for any preposition. But I don't want to talk about prepositions yet. We will but not yet. You've got to do a few of these using the verbs I give you in the exercises. Use your article grids. It's actually kind of fun, and it's empowering to lay down this first cornerstone of the suitcase system. There's more, but this is the foundation. So, that's it for now. As always, this is Language Gym. Show up, work out.